Hello and welcome back. So right now we are discussing how you write ratios in terms of percentages, okay? So first of all, we need to get our uh, sample ratio out. So let's say you're given the following ratio, 3, ratio 5. And uh, if you actually remember, this was the composition of normal T that we were talking about in the previous video uh, that some imaginary company produces. So let's say uh, that this company has uh, the normal T, the brand normal T, um, that it produces has three parts uh, three parts milk for every five parts that are water okay so you can say that there are three um, three liters of milk for every five liters of water okay in your tea and so let's say you want to actually find out the percentage I mean ratios are good but I I, I want to find out the percentage it makes a whole lot of sense to me let's say uh, it, it makes a whole lot of sense to you so in fact that is what we are trying to do uh, in this uh, in this lecture so uh, this is uh, when because we're talking about percentages this is the uh, general uh, the most uh, basic and general formula that you are uh, that you talk about and the boxes that you see on the left hand side those are what are going to be replaced by numbers so first of all the numerator is going to be um, replaced with the uh, with the with the number that you want to find out the percentage of okay in this case you want to find the percentage of the milk that is in the T. So uh, that is going to be 3. Okay. And the other, uh, the denominator, this, this box is going to be filled out with the, uh, with the thing that is, um, th that is T in this case. Uh, how do you actually say that? Uh, it's going to be the thing that is, that is, that is the thing. And the milk is going to be inside all the, uh, all the, uh, all the uh, individual things are going to be inside of it. Okay. So that whole big thing is going to come in the denominator side. And in fact, that is going to be uh, a sum of these two individual things. So three added to five, which gives us an eight. So we put that over here. And when you are done with that, you can start the, um, the process of actually starting to simplify the thing. So let's say you, you start by simplifying the numerator first. So three times a hundred, well, that gives us 300. And 300 divided by eight, actually put that into a calculator and that gives us a 37. 0.5% out okay so in fact it, 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 it just gave me 37.5 but I know that this is a percentage so I write the percentage uh, symbol right in front of that and in fact this wh what this tells us is that there is 37.5% milk in your normal tea that an imaginary company produces and that you drink uh, so let's actually um, uh, try to think about what we but, uh, about what we just found the thing is that even uh, the you can actually use the same thing and uh, try to uh, have a different ways of saying the same thing. Okay, so for example, we have we were talking about normal tea, right? So we, you can say that normal tea consists of three parts milk to every five parts water, or you can say that 37.5% of the tea is what uh, is, is actually tea uh, is milk, and 62.5% of the tea that you're drinking is water. Okay. So that is, uh, you can use whatever you want, uh, whatever makes sense to you. And in fact, if you were trying to make a, um, let's say you were trying to make a liter of tea, then uh, at that time, 3 ratio 5 isn't actually going to make a whole lot of sense. Uh, the percentages are going to make a whole lot more sense. So 37.5% uh, milk is going to be added and 62.5% water is going to be added. So that is actually why we convert ratios into percentages. So so let's actually go through a practice example just for um, just because I actually made the slides for them. So <laughs> let's actually go through them. So let's actually say you are given the following percent uh, ratio, five ratio five, and you want to find out the percentage of, of water that is in this uh, in this ratio, and it is, it is going to be milky tea that we talked about previously. So this is in fact the water part, and the other portion is the water uh, is the milk. So let's say Again, you're going to be using the percentage uh, portion, and you, because you're trying to find out the water um, uh, out of the milk tea, you're going to put the five over here, and the other portion is tea. So five added to five that is equal to ten. So you're going to be putting ten over here. Now, then you basically you are just going to be simplifying the thing, and the uh, and the ten and the hundred can actually cancel out, uh, leaving us with a ten in the numerator, and five times ten that just gives us a fifty. And so this is basically just telling us that uh, 
there is 50%, 50% of the, um, of milky tea is in fact water. So half of the tea is in fact water. Not as milky as you previously thought. So that's all there is to, uh, finding out how to convert one thing into another, ratios into percentages. And both of them, both of them are in fact saying the same thing, but in different ways. So use whatever is better for you. Thank you for watching and I really hope you learned something.